this may be one of the best little cameras that money can buy. Uh, I am definitely a through and through Sony user and I've had this camera now for about two years and I have five cameras total. This is the only kind of like point and shoot that I have and I absolutely love it. When I go on trips, um, I'm shooting content professionally and um, I always have like my full frame cameras, my Sony FX3, my a7 III, an a6400, and this one. And I travel with all those and a GoPro. And I usually travel with, you know, three or four cameras. And I can't tell you how often I end up choosing this camera over all of the other ones. Even though technically I should probably choose like my FX3 for that situation. If I'm traveling on this trip and I'm getting content, it would make sense to choose the FX3. But the fact that this is so small and uh, easy to carry around, easy to always have with me, I pretty much tend to choose this camera. And uh, if you're getting into photo or video or, or even like me and you just want something that's gonna shoot something better than your phone, shoots raw photos, 4K24, bigger sensor than your phone, um, but you can always have it with you, better in low light, you know, all of these things, uh, then this is going to be a good investment for you. This is a great camera for starting out. If you're learning photos and learning, um, you know, how to do manual photography or videography, you can do all of that with this, but you don't have to worry about buying separate lenses. Um, yeah, it's all very good way to get started in it. But again, if you are already in it and you've got the other cameras and you're looking to this as like a convenient uh, camera to have with you, I can definitely confirm that's exactly what I use it for. So, uh, you know, it shoots 4K 24, 60, you can get some slow, you can get some ultra solo, slow mo video with this. Um, you can shoot with no picture profile, like with a picture profile off, you can shoot an S log. I've done all of those. They all look really good. And, um, yeah, it's just a very nice camera in a very small package. And if you've been looking at this and trying to decide, obviously I don't know your exact use case, but, uh, this is a very nice camera and I am ecstatic that I have this camera on a very regular basis and I choose it over my more expensive cameras all the time. Can recommend.